Hello everyone, Cynthia Miller here, and today we're going to paint a cute little frog, or maybe a gecko, anything that leaps. This is for leap year, and not just for the, the day, February 29, but throughout the whole year. We have uh, the whole year to celebrate the leap year. So there's templates available for you if you'd like to download. Uh, this is a pretty simple one, and um, I think the thing that I noticed about this one was the the way that the skin sort of curled around the eyes, so I'll talk about that a little bit later. Right now I'm just wetting down the background because I do want to put some green background, make it look like he's in a little bit of a forest. I've got this uh, beautiful green that I'm just um, sort of sprinkling on and letting it uh, go where it splatters and then moving it around from there. We want a little bit of an abstract look to it and um, just adding uh, the greens. I'll be uh, posting the, the different colors and and the, the brushes and everything there for you. And just adding a, another little layer of darker green. As you know, the, the paint dries uh, and it turns uh, quite a bit lighter shade. I'm holding up my board just to let things run a little bit because I want it to look interesting. I don't want it to just be green. And as you can see, I've got a smaller brush. I'm going in around the edges of the frog and um, just bringing that green up so that I don't have a white edge. Sometimes I do backgrounds and I just, you know, just leave lots of white as well. But this time around, I'm bringing it right up to the edge of the, the frog. Now, I want to point out with the eyes, the slits are kind of sideways and you can choose any color you want. I did uh, lime green, I did yellow, I did orange. We have uh, two different classes every week and I do up one to send out originally and then we do one in each class and so I've got lots of time to, to play with, with different designs and colors and I'm just starting with the inside of the eye and I'm leaving a tiny little bit of white showing. You can see that there. And that just gives the illusion that there is a, a pupil in there, even though it's not the same color as, as what we're used to seeing. Now right now I am wetting down the pads of the feet. Now the pads of the feet have sort of circular shapes at the tip of them because they have suction cups on them. And I'm putting just a tiny little bit of uh, this beautiful red color and I'll, I'll gradually mix that with, with the yellow as it dries. But I wanted to try a little bit of uh, yellow red color this time around. So I'm putting the red on the feet and filling in there now with, with the yellow. And one thing I, I sort of had a challenge doing was, was painting in the webs between the toes because we're not really used to uh, seeing the, the web feet. And so um, just make sure that that is uh, like as, as a curve from one toe to the other. So this guy's going to have very bright eyes and very bright paws or feet as well. And then we'll paint him a nice yellow. I, I'm trying to make him look kind of fluorescent, I guess. And he's, he's quite, I mean, you, you look at a frog, you can see the muscles, you can see the, the um, tendons that, that hold it all together. And one thing about the, um, the feet is that each toe has a line that goes up and, and meets the um, ankle part, uh, sort of. And you can see almost right through it, you know. Um, so just... Keep it light. Um, I think using the red as a highlight really gives it the idea that it's it's a tropical frog, but there's actually lots of tree frogs in uh, British Columbia. One in particular is, um, is uh, threatened, and so we've had a little bit of, of uh, information uh, about it. And um, yeah, just sort of filling in those eyes now with a, a nice green. So there's the inside slit, there's the green part, and then there's another part around the the bulb. So um, three colors that make up the, the eye. So you could do green on the inside and then yellow and then a, a 
The outside is um, a little bit brownish, a little bit darker. But I wanted to get the eyes done so they would dry and we could go on with the head. So I'm leaving the eyes to dry and I found a nice light brown color for the, the mouth of the frog or the uh, gecko, whatever you want to call him. He's so cute. I think he's just so cute. And I just um, filled in that line around the mouth. We'll go in later and, and highlight a little bit more. But I'm starting up where the eyebrows are, or the, the skin that sort of hangs over the, the eyes. And I'm making a couple of very, um, you know, vivid shapes there around the eyes. And then the middle of the head comes right down into the nose area. And um, we'll just continue to, to move that color around the face of the frog. and. Um, just ensuring that I've got, you know, more dark lines where those two lines come down on either side of the nose. Just filling in with that nice yellow color. And this is where you'll see where I've just made very light indications where the nostrils might be, right at the, the center of the snout there. And you can see I've left the, the white ring around the eyes. That is where we will paint a darker color and they'll, it'll really pop when you have that darker color around the eyeball. But just have a look at the, the way your skin looks at the top of the eyeball. It's just sort of layered looks. And this is where I'm doing the nose here. I'm just almost picking up some paint so that it looks a little bit lighter and just putting a couple of nostrils in there help to make it look like um, the front of his nose there. And here I am putting the, the darker shade of brown. Just make it look like there's a slit there. And then I put a darker uh, spot in the center, make it look like he's almost got a, a tongue that's ready to come out because we decided to draw a fly in here. So that comes at the very end. Now this um, sort of piece that uh, it, it goes from his chest down to his tummy, it's where he's sort of leaning against the tree. And so just, just make that sort of a nice long shape there. Um, it's just where the tree meets the body of the, the frog. It doesn't have to be, you know, complicated or any special, um, you know, shape. It's just where he's hanging on there. So he's got one of his rear legs up behind him there as well. So three legs showing. And some people um, paint it without that third leg. If you don't feel like putting that in, that's uh, perfectly, perfectly fine too. So now I'm just going over it and doing a little bit more of, um, you know, details, I guess you might say, highlighting things. Um, putting um, strokes in to make it look like there's those tendons that go from each toe into the wrist because I think that that is important to show. It's sort of how it's made up, these uh, funny little feet that they've got. And then the same with the body. Just imagine the, the muscles and, um, you know, they're going to look a little bit lighter on top, which is where the light comes through. And uh, use your reds mixed with yellow for those shadows. So just use a smaller brush when you have those smaller areas to cover. Um, the eyes in particular, just that tiny little white strip around there. I've, I'm filling that in with sort of a combination blue-green. And it, it, if you can make that a little bit darker than your colors that you're using, then it really will uh, bring out the eye. And um, I mean, they're, they're pretty incredible when you look at them already, but this really helps to, to make them pop. And they're a little bit textured on the outside as well. And I'm just using the same color there to outline the, the mouth again. And um, these highlights, these, these lines that come down 
I think that really helps to have that um, sort of look that the skin is layered. And there's a couple of more dots for the nostrils there. Just very light. So just accenting the mouth now with some darker shades. You can sort of make the, the upper lip look a little bit more like it's rounding. And then the, the lower one just kind of lines up with that pointed snout. And I'm starting the tree now. And what I'm doing is wetting down all the areas around the frog. So you want to make sure that everything is dry first. Take it to the hair dryer, dry everything before you start the tree. And what I want to do is just put a nice light shade of brown on there. You can see on the top I started it. And, and then I take my, um, my brush and I just give it some nice straight down strokes. The, the trunk is on a slant. Your, your strokes will be on a slant in parallel with that, the way that the trunk is, is sloped. And it, it very simple to make it look like a tree. Just um, this would, in my mind, would be a cedar tree because that's how the bark is. But, and I decided to do this fly. So this fly, I'll give you a close up here. Um, it's basically just looking down as if you were looking down on it. So I did two little circles for the eyes and then I did um, the the wings just um, balanced on the back and then I added a couple of legs. So here's a close-up of the fly and that's pretty much it. I hope you have fun doing this. As I said, we get together every week to Weiss on Thursday and um, we're painting something different all the time. So. Check out the templates on the website, and uh, what I do is is print the template, trace around it so it's nice and dark, put it on the window, and you can actually trace it onto your artwork paper. The light behind the window, if it's the daytime, will shine through no matter how thick your art paper is. It's pretty cool, okay? Check it out. Have fun. See you next time.